All right, let's begin. Uh, this is Will Cole here. What are you talking about? My build for today. Let's see, I played my Trident True Robos and ARG uh, Detroit, so I want to give a chance to talk about what I did, first of all. It's the mana guide for uh, Professor Payton. It was actually really well done. I'm always a fan of it, always a fan of it. Well, that's my collection. Uh, not the usual thing I usually play on, but once again, I support, you know, me going to battles and whatnot, so I will do it as such. Now, as far as what I did, so, as always you know, as per my builds, I always start off with one Isha. It's always been my thing. I've always been a fan of the ability to get to what great threat I need. And so I was playing less of them this build like I usually do. It was crucial that I had him around actually quite a bit. And as far as what I play, as far as triggers are concerned, um, with the change of fate, actually, I played my deck extraordinarily aggro, actually, this time around. I played my set of, uh, die wolves and die battles, as always, because eight crits is eight crits, that's kind of how that works itself out. But usually, instead of the four stands, though, I kind of attacked on a little bit of um, extra aggression this time around. I actually ran into off crits, uh, in uh, Detroit. I barely remember checking many of them, but um, it was a strange combination of such. I was actually pretty excited over getting a chance to try it out. It worked well when I was testing, but once again, testing and actual uh, theory and putting in actual different things. So I'll talk, I think I talked about that in my major post on the group. So um, if you're interested in what that turned about it as, um, it'll be up there. I'll probably bump it at some point. And with the 12, of course, you had your 13, 14, 15, and 16. You had your heels all covered, you know, 12 D Robo triggers just for one go Yusha when everything was very, you know, getting tired and couldn't do much of anything with that. As far as great ones are concerned, you got your perfect guards. Um, I played my four dice shields. I like dice shields because um, they protect rear guards and vanguards alike. Um, you had two of. El Capitan, you know, Commander Laurel was in the house, as always. I can find a way to slowly get him out this bill at some point. Anyways, um, I played three Die Lion because, of course, when I was playing those my Glacier builds, then usually Die Lion is a lot more alive, a lot more sooner for me. And I played uh, three Yukas. So I had a chance to experiment with uh, Yuka and Die Lion at this event. and. For the most part, I think they treat me pretty well. Of course, it means the 10 grade ones all added on to the pressure that comes with running my Goyusha focus build, as always. And my grade 2 lineups, I ran uh, 3 Die Dragons. Um, 12k Punchers, always a good thing to have around. Had my 4 Die Jets and my 4 Die Bazookas. So either I was putting something back or I was punching, I was playing straight aggression the entire way through that game actually really helped out a lot when I was trying to get through other plays or whatnot. So having those around um, helped make solid numbers and whatnot, especially with the additional critical pressure. Um, a 17 for two crits unboosted is always a little nice thing to have. As always, grade threes I always run last. I always bring them out last or whatnot. As per one of my build standards, always, I always run one copy of Shadow Kaiser and Great Die Kaiser. Dyer was left in the cutting room floor to make more space for great uh, ones this time around. I kind of missed him though. I played two copies of the Legion and the Mate, you know, the, the big game ender as most people would like to rely to it as or whatnot. So I played two copies of each of those or whatnot because they're around. And as always, four of the brick ride because those are very confident things to have around. Which means my count on grade threes this time around was ten. A little light for me, actually. I felt like I, I don't know. I just don't feel like I have much confidence in my um, my attack power when I'm not running more than eleven in my builds. I may uh, change that back up when I'm back in the tackle box at some point. As for my grade fours, I played two copies of uh, Great Dyers. Um, just, you know, usually good first stride. 
usually don't focus on getting them out there a second time, but the first try is always a very solid thing to have. I had uh, two copies of X Tiger. Um, usually between uh, Die Kaiser Leon and Die Earth, he was actually fairly big, and so he paid dividends later on. I played one Omega and one X Rogue. Um, those are also always come in handy, whatnot, as one of um, X Rogue just for pressure reasons, and then Omega because, you know, sometimes any games with the 11K out there helps out. Which means that my last two were two copies of Die Kaiser Leon. And of course, Die Kaiser Leon usually good solid second stride, and when everything's getting going, you couldn't go from there. Um, as far as my um, numbers for the day, I didn't do really well. I'd say, um, myself personally, I felt like I could have played better, but um, sometimes Vanguard's not about playing better or playing worse. It's about playing as good as you can in that moment. Um, a stunt victory is out against a Mega Colony and Pale Moon, um, barely. And uh, I lost to Spike Brothers and Link Jokers and Great Nature, actually. You know, Great Nature uh, matchup, that's the one that sticks out in my head the most, actually, because um, I remember my opponent having Shat Noir out, and I proceeded to hit him with a rear guard for two crits when he was at three damage. It was my last attack of the round, I couldn't kill him, and I don't know what possessed me to do that, but I hit him anyway. And so, of course, he went Legion Break Ride and just tore my face asunder. I was just like, did I really just punch him into limit break on purpose? I don't know. It's like, it was a foggy trip. I, I, I just remember thinking to myself, like, that was not the smartest thing I've done all day. Um, for the most part, that's pretty much everything I want to talk about in this video. And in my next video, I want to talk about a little bit more about finding out whether or not um, the commander is worth having around. I defended him quite a bit. I mean, I swore tooth and nail by him that he isn't, he doesn't need to be banned, but I feel like a lot of players in this clan are just really using him as a crutch. And um, I want to get away from that, if possible. But it's going to be really hard because card players are really setting their ways for consistency in the best one scenario. So once again, I'll talk about that in a different uh, video. With that said, uh, that's pretty much everything I want to talk about. Air Detroit was awesome. I got to see Jim and Robbie. I got to wear my my blue mane and my in my baseball jersey, and I had a lot of fun. Um, even though the trip there and back was a bit of a bother, but I had a lot of fun making that trip, and I hope to make more of them in the future. Um, with that said, that's Will Cole. I'll be signing out, and as always, people. Believe in justice.